Never Stop Learning, week 152. I'm going to take a look at the Reveal All feature available in Adobe Photoshop. So here I've got a document where you actually can't see the entire image. If I hit Command T, you're going to see that I have a bunch of pixels hanging out over the edge of my document. So I hit Escape to get out of that. Now, if you want to reveal all of those pixels, just come over here to the Image menu. Scroll down until you find Reveal All. And when you click on it, you see Photoshop goes ahead and takes care of everything for you. It's actually expanded the document until all of the pixels are visible. All right, so let's see another use for that. I'm going to come over to this document I have set up here. And a couple weeks back, I showed you how to create a distress pattern and then apply it to some text using a layer mask. So this is going to be a different approach for creating a seamless pattern. I want to make sure that I have a black foreground and white background. You can just hit the D key on your keyboard to make sure you have that. And next we'll come over here to Filter, Render, and then Clouds. When I click on that, it runs the filter and it did a great job of doing this. Now, this is where we're going to start uh, setting this up so that it, it could repeat really nice. What I want to do is hit Command J and that's going to make a copy of this layer. Next I'm going to come over to Edit, Transform, and then Flip Horizontal. Now, I'm going to click and drag and hold down the Shift key. And once I get to this edge, it's going to go ahead and snap there because I have my snap settings to snap to the document edge. Now, take a look over here in my layers panel. You don't see any of those pixels here because it's hanging off of the edge of my document. Well, let's just come over here to Image, Reveal All, and it takes care of that for me. So I hit Command uh, E to go ahead and merge those two layers. Next, I'm going to hit Command J, and that's going to make an exact copy of that layer. So this time, we're going to come over here to Edit transform flip vertical I'll just click and drag to bring this down hold down the shift key to constrain it and then it's going to snap to the edge of my document again we'll come over here to image reveal all and now you see I have the beginnings of this great pattern now I still have two separate layers here so let me hit command E to go ahead and merge these guys and if these lines are bugging you here not a problem just come over here to the tools panel and you want to activate your spot healing brush. You could also hit the J key on your keyboard to do that. You want to make sure that the content aware feature is turned on and that your brush size is big enough. Uh, you could use the open or close brackets to change the sizing of your brush. So I'm just going to click and drag. It's going to go ahead and update. That looks great. I'll click and drag right here. It's gone ahead and done a great job with that here. This looks kind of weird, so I'll go ahead and eliminate that one. And I'll do the same here. Now, you could do as much cleanup as you like. Just keep going over stuff until you get the look you're going for. But for me, this looks pretty good. Now I'm ready to define this as a pattern. So I'm going to hit Command A to select all. And we'll come over here to Edit. Scroll down until you find Define Pattern. When you click on that, it gives you an option to name this. I'm going to leave it as Seamless Pattern. I'll click OK. Now I no longer need this. So I'll hit Command D to deselect. And I'm going to hit Command Delete to go ahead and fill this with white. It's going to fill with my background. All right, so I'm going to double click on the layer to bring up my layer styles. And I want to choose this option over here of pattern overlay. When I click on it, right away I see this bubbles pattern that we're used to seeing. But if you click right here, it'll give you a little drop down menu and you'll find that pattern we just defined. So I'll click on it to choose it. And when I click right here, it'll get rid of this little box for me. But you can actually see what we've created. Now, big deal, it looks kind of like what we already had. but the cool thing is we actually have more control over it now. So I could actually scale this down and move this around and I have a lot more uses out of it this way. So I'll go ahead and click OK to accept that. And there you have it folks. That's how you use the reveal off feature available in Adobe Photoshop.